here to the webinar. So uh, as people are still now slowly streaming in, so I would like to uh, tell you like normally what we will do. Uh, so for today, we'll be like, normally like Jim will like walk through the specific currency for the webinar that we always do. So for Monday, we'll be on uh, Aussie and Kiwi. Tuesday will be on Euro. Wednesday will be on Pound. Thursday will be on uh, Yen and Go. And Friday will be on Cat and Oil. So I'd like to launch a pool to see like how many of you is the first time attending this webinar. Time launch. I have uh, 15 of you here. I see like quite a number of you are first time attending. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> okay, so let me go through. So today is Monday. So uh so Jim will be speaking about Aussie and Kiwi. The webinar is going to be very beneficial for long-term investors and also short-term traders. So during this session, so Jim will go through like what the price could move and possible trade, highlighting potential targets and risks. So uh, very important to tell everybody that uh the disclaimer that any information shared during this session is not intended to be trade recommendation. It's solely the opinion of the view of the speaker. So please remember to do your own analysis prior to enter, uh, entering of any trades. So uh, I'm Kenneth here. I've known Jin for four years. So uh, first as a student and now a business partner with Jin. So uh, uh, introduction that uh, Jin runs a LCMS traders and Forex briefcase. So a trading coach, million dollar trader, and what this means that uh, is invited to many stages globally. In fact, one of the reasons that you might be here is that you have seen, uh, seen him presenting at any event or attended this course before. So uh, while we are just about to get started, let me launch a pool and see where did you heard from us and uh, how did you join. Uh, Traders club members, meetup group, cool. Yep, I got about 30, but only eight of you. So if you all could kindly just uh, submit the pool that, uh, that you all have from the webinar. Come on, I want to know where everyone's coming from. Um, just let us know on the polls. Uh, this would help in terms of what I share in particular, um, especially the, um, the information, the detail of information that we get through as well. So as much as you can, you know, there's still another seven of you, a couple of you who haven't responded yet, get onto the poll and then um, let me know where you're coming from. Thanks, Kenneth. Yep. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, from here, I think I'll pass over to Jim to talk about today's analysis. <laughs> okay. Uh, thanks for that, Kenneth. So I see that we have about 50 50 coming from, well, new and um, regular viewers of this currency call. Um, looking at the poll as well, most of you are Trader Club members, some from Telegram, hey, a couple from Facebook Live. I am also um, holding my phone, you can see, well, you can see my phone here. Holding my phone, we are also on Instagram Live as well, so um, jump onto the Zoom call as much as I can. I'll try and um, show you some charts as well to get through the different currency pairs um, that we have today. So today is Monday, a brand new week. Um, last week was quite volatile, quite reasonable movements. Um, this week we actually will see, I actually do believe that we'll see quite a lot more movements and now um, we'll get through that as we go day by day through the week. 
Um, today is Aussie and New Zealand dollar analysis. Uh, this is going to be a quite a quick, short and sharp session because um, there is not much news, not much happening. Um, projections for the Aussie and the Kiwi will be relatively straightforward. So let's jump straight into it. Okay, if you have any questions, put it in the chat, um, in the in the Zoom chat. Um, I'm not, unfortunately, I'm not looking at the Facebook live chat. So if you're putting any questions there, you know, I'm pretty sure one of the guys will answer that for you. Uh, one of the guys being Kenneth there, he did the introductions. We have Jin Wei, we have Jonathan, and we have um, Daniel as well, the guys with the spiffy background, right? So. Um, <coughs> so let's get started. All right, um, jump to the charts to start. Okay, just put someone into this. All right, so uh, starting off with the charts, we're looking at the Aussie US dollar, Aussie US dollar on the daily time frame. What I have here is that. Uh, why I look at it on a daily time frame is really for the, you know, the investors, the business owners out there who really want a, a longer term view. So uh, we look at a little bit of a longer term view to let us identify what's the overall trend of the market. And then after that, we look at it in a smaller time frame in terms of um, how to trade the smaller time frames. Then we look at the triggers of what could move the market higher or lower. All right. Uh, right now, let me zoom it in a little bit so it's a bit easier to see. On the Aussie US daily chart, you know, yeah, last week I was actually saying that we could move up a little bit higher. Aussie US could move up a little bit higher before coming back, maybe testing that resistance before coming back down again. All right. So um, moving up a little bit higher towards the 64, 0 0.6475 resistance level before possibly coming back down um, at that support and then maybe downwards further. At this point, I probably think that, um, I, I, I do think that we might actually, if I can adjust this line, we might actually think that it could probably go a bit higher than that um, before maybe coming back down again. Why I think it probably could go higher is that, um, Australia seems to be doing quite well in terms of what's happening uh, in, the, in the virus environment. Uh, they seem to be in you know, Perth, which you know, I came from. Uh, I lived half my life there. They seem, they've been reporting very low numbers, you know, zero numbers for quite a few times already. So they seem to be doing quite well. Um, another point is China see, is also recovering and they're restarting the industries. So we could see a bit more imports and exports towards China. Um, and then New Zealand is also on their last day, I think, if I'm not wrong, or last couple of hours um, in terms of their lockdown. So we could see that open up as well. So because of what could happen in the area of Australia, New Zealand, and that trade route between um, Australia and um, China, I do think that we could see a little bit, a little bit more upside towards for Australia before, um, you know, overall we'll still see that impact in terms of a global impact um, and then that move towards reserve currency. So we could see a brief upward move, you know, that looks like a good 140, 150, even maybe 200 pips upwards, testing it up before coming back down again. So we could see something like this happen over here, right? Testing to that level before coming back down again. Um, so I would still be a lot more, I would normally say a bit more careful, but a lot more careful on the upward, um, waiting to take advantage more on the bigger downward move um, heading down. All right, so um, looking at a four hour chart on the Aussie. Ooh, all right, so four hour chart on Aussie, it really, especially today, we started off with a good move upwards, you know, a good almost 50 pips upwards. We do see, I do see that we, if it does break this level, right, the same level here right now, 
All right, so if it does break this level, um, I do think that we can go up, test this whole zone, test this whole area here before maybe coming back down again. So I wouldn't be looking, unless it closes quite strongly above um, the 6, 0.6475 level. All right, so what I mean by if it closes strongly above that, if we see a nice white candle upwards that way, then I think that we could we could trade it uh, further upwards. So that could be a good 150 pips or a good 150 pips upwards. Uh, unless we see that, I wouldn't be looking for a buy. I would be more looking for it to go towards that level before coming back down again. So I still do think that there might be a downward move. Um, whether it be immediate or in the longer term, we will probably have to wait for that. I'm looking at the charts. Um, the indicators are slightly oh, in the extension of the overbought area. We could see it come back down again. All right. Um, at this point, let me just trigger the chat and see any questions. Okay, so um, Daniel has been putting up the summary as well. So that'd be good if you have not caught what I've said. In addition to that, um, this is also recorded. So if you do need more info, you can always um, watch the recording later as well. Okay, um, so looking at the New Zealand US dollar, same thing on the daily chart. Now I'm on New Zealand US dollar on the daily chart. I do see that. Um, let me zoom in a little bit. I do see that it's still testing, right? So for the past three times, I'm saying that, hey, it could go up and test, okay, and, but it should come down. It's testing, it should come down. It's testing, it should come down. Now we're looking at it again. It is still testing. Um, at this point, I will probably think that um, it might move up a little bit more rather than test that level. I do think that we could see it move towards um, even higher towards the 0 0.627170 level before possibly coming back down. So we could see it moving up if it does break this level. Why I think that is really because of um, how New Zealand is recovering from the um, lockdown, where they're going to slowly release the lockdown. We could see more activity. We could see a bit more um, stimulus in terms of what's happening in the New Zealand economy, which would also translate to um, slight strengthening of the New Zealand dollar. However, um, I do feel that you know the New Zealand economy and New Zealand dollar is still going to be subject to the overall global um, impact. So as much as we see it go up, you know, interest rates are not doing well in New Zealand. Um, they are still talking about possible even, you know, lower interest rates again, or even some have some news articles have been saying a possible negative interest rates. So um, we could see it, you know, move up towards the 0 0.6270 level before possibly coming back down again. So, you know, my overall feel of New Zealand dollar is still for it to move lower. Um, but at this point, there might be a slight upward move before overall downward move um, coming for New Zealand US dollar. Does that make sense to you at this point? Let me see in the chats. Okay. Um, all right. Andy, how are you? Haven't seen you for a while. Uh, would you take into account the end of month rebalancing and profit taking this week? Um, Andy, so Andrew, um, Andy, Andrew, I don't normally take into account so much in terms of um, profit taking and uh, account rebalancing because on a monthly basis, it doesn't really impact prices that much. There, are, there is going to be some volatility um, resulting in that, but I don't, I don't see it moving significantly. By I mean, significantly, I mean like, you know, a good even 50 or, or 100 pips. So nothing that's really tradable. Um, account end of month rebalancing, profit taking seems to have a bigger impact um, when in terms of for equities. Um, because the, the liquidity is a, lot, a little bit lower, so we see that that could move uh, markets more when people take profits or rebalance their accounts. 
in FX, you know, five trillion trader a day with accounts being closed and, and markets being, um, or accounts being closed or profits being taken. That's not, I don't believe that that's going to move the markets too much. All right. <laughs> Any other questions? Andy, we'll catch up some more. I would love to catch up some more. All right, so uh, jumping into the uh, Forex Factory right now. So Forex Factory, just for a lot of you who uh, have not traded before, uh, Forex Factory is where I, for me, I get all my news. Um, I use that, it's a free resource, you know, um, it tells me everything that I need to know about different currency pairs, different times, what's important, what's not so important. So it's all there. You'll see that today, today is Monday 27th. There is pretty much nothing happening there apart from a New Zealand bank holiday um, on Anzac Day, you know, lest we forget. So there was a um, Anzac Day over the weekend on the 25th of April. Um, so not much happening today, right? Tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be really, really important. Um, we have the Bank of Japan with their outlook, uh, monetary policy statements. There have been rumors coming out that um, the Bank of Japan is likely to increase their overall uh, asset purchase. So we could see even up to double the asset purchase amounts. So that could weaken yen um, quite significantly. I actually do think, I actually do think that that might happen as we do this currency call tomorrow, right? So they normally release that news at about 10, um, 10 something, 11, 12 o'clock. So we might actually see that impact immediately um, as that news gets released, fingers crossed. If that happens, you know, I might enter some trades as we take this call um, tomorrow. So it's gonna be quite interesting tomorrow. Uh, we have a bit of a US news. We have some Aussie CPI numbers um, on Wednesday, so that could be one of the things that move the Australian dollar on Wednesday morning. Um, although its previous was 0 0.7, expected to be 0 0.2. So I do think that while we could see some movement, I don't think that it would be massive volatility. Um, which will still come back to the point where I shared just then, you know, Aussie could move up a little bit before moving back down. This could be the one that moves it up a little bit uh, because it's a quarter on quarter number. So we might not see the full impact of what happened for the, uh, in terms of the virus on the Australian economy. Um, on Wednesday night, we have a bit of a news in terms of US GDP that's going to be terrible. Uh, previous was 2.1, expected minus 3.9%. So we're going to see terrible news from the US on Wednesday night. So that could push Aussie up a little bit more again. Um, on Thursday morning, 2 a.m., guess what? I'll be awake at 2 a.m. because I'll be looking at the federal funds rate, the US FOMC releasing interest rates. Um, expected to maintain at 0.25%. I do expect them to maintain... Um, at 0.25% as well. However, I do think that we need to pay a lot of attention to this statement. As you can see, the rates is not so important. You know, it's medium impact. The statement is high impact. The press conference is high impact because that's where they're going to tell you whether they're going to be printing more money, whether they're going to be injecting more money into the markets, whether they're going to be uh, stimulating the market a lot more and the different tools and time frame that they'll be implementing to try and um, boost the US economy, which also could lead to um, some weakening of the US dollar or even strengthening, you know, depends on what they do. So we'll pay a lot of attention on what happens on Thursday. You have to catch the currency call on Thursday because that's where I'll, I'll go through that information. A um, bit of Chinese news, I wouldn't bother too much about that. Uh, Euro news on Thursday. So euro interest rates and statements, that's going to be terrible for the euro, I would say, right? Um, and then Friday, we're home clear, a bit of a holiday on Friday as well. So we're going to see a lot of news on Thursdays and um, Wednesdays and Tuesdays. So this currency call is where I'll be going through all those information um, 
together with you on a day-to-day -day basis, all right? We already see some weakening in the Japanese yen already. <clears throat> so at this point, let me just jump to the chat again. Uh, Kim Hong just sent me something. Carried forward to just now. Oh, well, Bank of Japan meeting carried forward to just now. Held rates at 0 0.1. Okay, great. All right, so um, I'll jump into the Traders Club, just to tell you a bit more about Traders Club. This will be quite a short and sharp session. So Traders Club, you can join us on Traders, LCMS Traders Club on Facebook. It is a private group, right? So this is where I'll be sharing <clears throat> a lot of information. Oh, before I go into that, I also want to tell um, everyone who is a Traders Club member, um, well, Monday, the Monday session that we're doing, uh, we moved it from 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. So I hope that more of you um, at 9 p.m. will be available. You, know, you can join us at 9 p.m. We'll be going through your questions that you've been asking in the Traders Club for the past week. Um, and then we'll go through in detail um, the whole week's worth of information um, in terms of news and charts and um, how I set up my trades, what to look out for. We'll be reviewing previous um, information, previous signals and what happened last week. All right, um, watch parties there. You know, a lot of you come from the Telegram channel. The Telegram channel fires out signals to you, telling you where, what to buy, when to buy, when to close your trades or your stop loss or take profits one, two, and three. In the Traders Club, we actually put the information, all the details there, you know, telling you the logic, the reason behind entering that trade, why we want to buy, why we want to sell. Um, it's all there and then we also tell you, well, if it hits stop loss, we tell you it hits stop loss, why it's hit stop loss. So you learn as well as, you know, you trade. Um, we also tell you when to get out in terms of take profit one, take profit two, you know, why we're getting out at take profit one or two. So it's not just copying and then going there going, oh wait, when do I get out, right? So it's there to tell you when we get out of a trade as well. Um, Daniel sends out all the signals in the Telegram channel and all the analysis in the Traders Club. Um, in addition to this, we just, um, I just spoke to the guys, uh, these guys here, good looking guys here, just spoke with them. We're gonna do a Wednesday call for everyone in Traders Club. We're gonna do a Wednesday uh, coaching call. So um, I'll be there, Daniel will be there, Jonathan will be there on Zoom. We'll put up the link in the group. You know, you can join, uh, there'll be a coaching call, so that's where, um, the guys will be coaching you through your trading, you know, giving you the tips and ideas about how to identify trend, draw a support resistance, back test, um, look for trades, look for setups, what to do when you're trading part-time, what to do when you're trading full-time, all the step-by-step -step series. We're not going to cover it all in one day, obviously, right? So it's every Wednesday evening at 9 p.m. We're going to do a session only for Trader Club members. Um, coaching you one top through one topic at a time, um, really, you know, building your 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 journey through that whole trading process. All right. So um, Traders Club is a private group. It's a paid group. I don't have the website there. It is forty nine dollars a month or one ninety nine a year. So to me, no brainer. Join for one ninety nine for a year. That would make a lot more sense. Um, so we do a lot more in there. I also have um, watch list and news information. You know, you look a lot of news information, you don't understand what it means. We put all that information up there with a lot of other descriptions uh, where I post up all the information as well. You know, you can ask questions and I'll answer either in there or in the, um, in the sessions that we do live uh, during this call. All right, so enough about Traders Club, enough about, um, the charts let me just end this share all right so any questions any questions i've seen i see a lot of you looking very serious all right uh any questions hosun hosun is there look at him finally got a smile on right he's previously um straight faced so um let's see anyone with a question you can put it in the chat and then i'll be quite happy to answer your questions No, you're all happy. I did a fantastic job explaining the charts to you. 
Give me a thumbs up if you if you think so. Thanks, Robbie. Very quick with that thumbs up. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'll, I'll jump in. I'll, I'll jump into what Kenneth is supposed to do. I'll, I'll jump in. I'll run. I'll run a poll. Um, let me run this poll. Where is it? All right. Tell me. Give me a review. All right. If you if you like what I've done, you know, perfect. Love it. Could be longer. More analysis. More coaching. Or if it's terrible, you will not be back. Let me know. Let me know. There's 27 of you here. Eight of you have responded. I need another 19 more. My mask, right? Yes. 19 more. Right. So tomorrow, tomorrow we will be talking about the Euro. Um, I will make a slight exception to tomorrow's session is we'll talk about the Euro, but I'll be talking about the Yen as well because Bank of Japan. So we'll focus more on the Euro um, and then a little bit on the Yen depending on what happens at that point. Uh, Judy says, need more time to understand why to approach one strategy over another. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that more about the next time. Uh, we'll get you started with a strategy first and then we'll tell you how to choose between strategies. That's good. So I do have an online course launching soon as well. I've said that for almost a month now. So it will be launching soon. We just haven't had um, difficulties. Look at my screen here, right? So we haven't had um, the recording. So we're going to get that done. And then once it's launched, I will forward it out to all of you regular viewers. All right. So have we got the polls done? If, hey, it's only 16 out of 24 of you. Come on. <clears throat> all right. So um, if that's it, Kenneth, anything else to add? Nope. Yeah, that's good. All right. So catch us um, for, especially those on Traders Club, catch us on at 9 p.m. tonight. We'll be going through the weekly trade call, weekly analysis. Um, those of you who are not on Traders Club, join up right now uh, so that you can join the session um, at 9 p.m. and also the session on Wednesday evening where we coach you through your trading as well. All right. So, yep, a recording of this will be uploaded on YouTube, YouTube LCMS channel, uh, LCMS Traders, go search for LCMS Traders on YouTube. Um, if not, thank you all for coming on today and we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Thank you. Take care, bye.